gaining force with the rejection free formula no calling no chasing no convincing and in this video I'm gonna talk about um, you know putting your Aweber or your uh, autoresponder code uh, in funnel kit and it, I, I already slipped and said Aweber but that's what I'm gonna be using and this is step three in funnel kit and this is really simple um, you're just going to go in here and hit enable custom styles and you're gonna put your form code here now if you already have like the the form like completely done and it's a customized form you can actually put that in here as well you have so much flexibility with funnel kit it's kinda of crazy so what you do is I already have a form ready so um, I'm gonna just show you the differences of, of how we do this so you go to um, Aweber and I actually should um, refresh this page so you can see that what this looked like so what you want to do is you want to go to install form and you go to the raw HTML version and over here you're gonna have this include um, beautiful form styles and that's if like you know you completely customize the form and whatnot but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna untick this box right here and you can see that the code just changed and what you do is you select and copy all that and then you go in step three and then you just paste all this here um, and then what you want to do is you want to enable the custom styles on funnel kit reason being you're customizing the form as it's in as it's in um, funnel kit and um, to show you an example of, of how we do that is I'm gonna just use what's already here and we're gonna go through this step by step so it says the form body color uh, remember that we're already using a background of white on on the the capture page and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put no background okay and so if you had like a um, if you did have a completely transparent background on the main funnel kit container then then you could probably put a background on here and and get away with it but probably shouldn't do both or unless you're doing something that uh, requires you to use both so um, this would be the border. So obviously, since we're not using a the form color for body, we don't necessarily have to use a, a border. But just so you know, it gives you options, um, and then it also gives you the style, so you can do dotted, dashed, and solid for a border color. So the inputs. This is where you actually input your actual um, details. So the input size. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna make pretty big. I'm gonna put 25 uh, pixels, and then the actual inputs um, we're gonna put as as black for that's the you know the actual letters of see how this changed over here you can see like a preview window I'm gonna change this font font style here and you can see this is all changing before our eyes and this is just like a, a generic thing for you to look at so it'll show you um, you know how it's coming but it's not exact obviously so um, that's one thing you want to uh, keep in mind then you want to go to you can change your your font weight but I'm gonna leave that right now text decoration you can have it underlined overlined you can put a line through um, I don't I don't know why you would use those yet I haven't figured out a way to use those yet but I don't necessarily need to I'm gonna put this in the center and that's the text align to go in the center now this is your input fields this is basically um, the fields that you enter your um, email this is the um, the fields that you're gonna actually enter your name and email or just email. So whatever fields that you're you're using, and so what you do, I'm gonna leave this at 250 for right now. Um, so, and then we can actually I'm gonna leave this at 300 because I'll show you something and I'll use a nice round number for it. Um, the height since we already did this height up here. As our font size for 25, we should probably go bigger. So for the fields, we're going to put 30. Okay, and then we're going to put padding. Um, I'm just going to put two pixels. And this is the color of the actual uh, input field. So what we could do is put some other kind of off-white, yellow, uh, yellow-ish, light yellow-ish, uh, something like that. Um, you can put a border, so we're going to put a border um, of three pixels, and you can put the border color as well. So we're going to put um, we're going to put like a, a a really really dark or prominent gray, I think. 
let's do that and then let's see let's do solid okay and actually let me take down this color of gray that's a little too dark of what I actually wanted all right so that's that and then we can put rounded um, we can make our, our fields actually rounded um, we can change the radius size let's say let's just do two pixels for now and then let's put the alignment uh, for the fields let's center that as well now funnel kit comes with a whole bunch of buttons and what I like with this is before you had to just customize your own size buttons in Aweber well funnel kit you can do it all from here let me show you so you hit this browse gallery button and let's say you're you're picking out your button and here's the different colors that they have um, gray green uh, red and then there's even a yellow I don't know what's going on with the yellow but um, so that's blue and then so I could pick any of these right here so let's just say I wanted to hit continue or let's let's put instant access and I put save and now this instant access button comes up now here's some of the other things that we can do we can change the size of the button so if I made it 300 pixels it would be the same exact width of the actual fields we already talked about that but I'm gonna make the button just a, a little bit smaller at 275 and then again we have control of the alignment so I can put it in the center um, and then there can be a top margin and bottom margin but I'm just gonna hit save for now now right now you're not gonna see this on the the actual page if I hit refresh yet um, so we're not gonna see it here yet because um, I haven't started building the page and I'm going to show you that in the actual um, and here let me wait for this to load so you can see what I'm talking about we don't see anything yet and that's because we haven't done anything in actually building the actual page we only put our container size in but we haven't actually started building the page and so that's what we're going to do on the next step and in the next video so uh, yeah, like, comment, leave a uh, like, share, comment, leave something below. Let me know if you actually like this video. And uh, there's also a link to Funnel Kit if you want to pick this up. Again, I do receive commission, but hey, you know we're affiliate, we're, we're marketing, right? So I'm just giving you some added value to help you make a decision. So take care. See you on the next video.